Hello, my name is Daniel Ceballos and welcome to my vlog. Today, we are in Santa Ana at the Enthusiast Network, the 10 Network. This is the home of Lowrider Role Models, the home of Lowrider Magazine. And today we are conducting our 11th episode. Can you believe we're at 11 episodes already? This is amazing. Today I plan to take you guys around the set, show you some things. We've got the car set up out there. We're doing beauties. We might knock out an interview. We already did the drive today. So we'll show you some stuff. We'll, we'll introduce you to some people on the crew into what they do as well and uh, some other news. So we are now a few days past Thanksgiving and I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving with your family, friends, people that just mean the world to you. I know I had a great time with my family just giving thanks and, and eating some great food, even some having some leftovers afterwards. That was amazing. So uh, I had a question because I think the thought of Thanksgiving has changed so much, especially within um, the last couple of years for me anyways, uh, the whole idea of uh, pilgrims and celebrating th that whole thing has kind of just gone by the wayside. I don't, I don't really feel that that's what Thanksgiving means for me. Um, maybe it still means that for you. So I'd, I'd like to know, what, is, what does Thanksgiving mean to you? Does it mean celebrating uh, the time that the pilgrims came to the, uh, the Americas and you know, whatever happened there? <laughs> because a lot happened after that. So what, is, what does Thanksgiving mean to you? Okay, for me, it's my family. For me, it's um, you know, getting to follow my dreams. And that's been a big thing this year. I've been able to do that. Uh, one of the cool things I'm thankful for is this channel. I'm thankful for all of you guys uh, who have been watching. But yeah, I'm just, this year has been, this year has been a little hard. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, but you know what? I'm not, I don't wanna focus on that. I wanna focus on the future. I wanna focus on, uh, on where we'll be next year, you know? So that's the only thing that you you can think about and, you know, just get there. Let's, let's keep moving. I hope that you guys have goals set out for the rest of your year. I know this is probably stuff that we need to talk for like New Year's, but I'm thankful. I'm just thankful. So a few weeks ago, we actually got to shoot a commercial through Escape Plan, which is our production company with Jay Leno for his new car care products. It was a lot of fun and really couldn't talk about it until now because they were gonna release it on Black Friday. So now that it's after Black Friday, I can actually present you with this commercial. After 25 years of trying practically every detailed product on the market, we decided to develop our own right here in-house at the garage. Now whether your car is over 50 years old or just 11 years old, here's an easy way to keep it looking brand new. It's called Jay Leno's Garage Advanced Vehicle Care, which is just rich guy talk for upscale products to help you detail your car just the way the pros do, but not at an upscale price. And it's only available online at lenosgarage.com. That's the only place you can get it. Order now and who knows? Maybe you'll be as cool as me. <laughs> All right, so I just found another crew member. This is uh, Jose, and he is our, what you give your, you give your title? I'm an assistant camera person, and then basically my job is to assist the director of photography. So I either clean the lenses for him and just make sure that the director of photography is comfortable. He's comfortable. And comfortable, and then just get him like whatever he needs. I'm in charge of uh, breaking the camera down, and so, building it up and make sure all the batteries are charged. So while it's out of his hands, it's your responsibility. Yeah, so I'm the person that's supposed to make the, the director of photography look like a star, so. Yeah, I, I think you do that, man. Yeah. And this is the lifeblood of any production, craft services.
Panera. Super tasty. You can call. All right, so not only do we do commercials and microdocs, but uh, about how many years ago? Four years ago? Uh, was oh, it no. 2000, 2011? We shot it in two, January 2011. January 2011. Yeah, it didn't come out to 2012 though, right? Yeah. Okay, so January 2011, we shot The Shooting Star Salesman, which is our first uh, short film mm -hmm. directed by Kiko Velarde. Hi. Yeah, we had a great time doing that. Okay. And um, actually, the, the, the short went on to win a bunch of awards, and we had a great time with that. And we've still been trying to make that. We all did, like, it was a lot of work. It was a like group effort. Oh, for Every, sure. Like, Everybody. Like, you did the VFX. I, yeah, I did the awesome VFX. Awesome VFX. All right, thank you. Half a and they still hold up. Yeah, yeah they do. <laughs> they do. They seriously do. And they're amazing. Um, but the cool thing is that we're still trying to make this short into a feature film. Feature. So um, where's it posted right now? Right now you can see it on Vimeo and YouTube. Vimeo and YouTube? Yeah. Just look up the Shooting Star Cells. Shooting Star. I'll, I'll it put there. a link down in the description. You guys can mm -hmm. check that out. And uh, tell us what you think. I uh, hope you guys really enjoy that. But this brings us to another point. So a few days ago... Uh, Kiko ended up posting the new holiday apple spot, which uh, looked a little bit all too familiar. And you right. ended up putting a side-by-side -side comparison. A side-by-side -side comparison. It's, it's eerie how like, similar it is. So we're gonna take a look at it, uh, and, we're gonna, and we're gonna talk through it while you guys are watching it. All right, ready? Yeah. That was the shot when I saw it, and I was like... So that's the first thing that made you go, hang second, on a second. Yeah. And then the hat. Oh yeah, the top And then, the mirror, and yeah. then the mirror shot. And then when he, he went and picked up a box, and I was like, wait. And then when he did this turnaround shot, all that. Oh yeah. We have like similar walkie shots too in our film. I just didn't cut those in. Oh yeah. You know, like I said before, check out check out the Vimeo site. I'll put the link in the description and then when compare. When he opens up the box, also for yeah, oh yeah, the parts. Yeah. Then so these are the parts that he got in the mail. Yeah, just yeah. like the shoes I sold me. His machine didn't work. Yeah. So he got parts oh, in the mail, just like him. It's almost like they, they saw my short film and said, oh, "We can't steal it. We just, if we change it by ten percent." Hey, yeah. would make the guy Frankenstein. Yeah. So, his machine isn't working. Instead of a little boy, they put a little girl. Yeah. The little girl, or gets the machine working again. Cause no matter yeah. how far no. away you go. And then she goes on to inspire yep. all the grown-ups around her. Yeah. I mean, then even that shot, right? They're just like yeah. turn around. They just did it in reverse where she looked away. And then that right there. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. I mean, they just had a better budget. <laughs> they had a better. I mean, it's it's more like that's a commercial and stuff, whatever. But to me, it's like. Uh, one of those things where um, I think I was just kind of caught off guard, but then in a way, you know, we're all inspired and influenced by other filmmakers and stuff. Yeah. You know, so to me, like, if, if somebody was influenced, they, either the ad agency or the director or the producer, like, that's dope. It's yeah. dope that the little short film that we did, like, influenced somebody to make that ad, um, which is cool. Can't really, you know, do anything about it, but all we can say is, like, hey, that looks familiar. <laughs> that looks familiar, yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, but hey, if you if you like the short and or proxy that commercial, and you'd like to see a longer form of this, I mean, we're really trying to get this this shooting star salesman uh, feature going, yeah. and we'd love to see your support for it. So, you know, if you're down for that, leave a comment down. I just want to get people, you know, build a connection between our short and and our audience. You yeah. know, so uh, the, the the short film itself, like as a feature film, would be a, like a classic. It, 
could be a holiday classic. It could be any type. Of I mean, it's, right? it's, 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 ad- it's adaptable. Character. Yeah, and it's written by your. I mean, the story is by your brother. Yeah, my my brother's a singer songwriter, and uh, he it's actually ended up his music. writing writing a song that influenced. Yeah, basically, yeah. The, his song, the "You Star Salesman," became the shooting star salesman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, thanks for for putting that out there. That was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, when I saw it that morning, I was like, "Oh wow, what am I watching?" Yeah. You know, but yeah. it is true. I mean, there there's flattery, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you, you can't. I mean, you can't. Like, everybody's like, "Oh, who are you gonna sue? Yeah. Are you gonna?" I mean, it's I mean, a what, commercial. What can you do, right? It's a commercial. It's not a, like a film. Yeah, it's not like they're not selling the sh- the commercial. They're selling a product in the commercial. But you know, it's just one of those things where it's just kind of, it kind of catches you off guard, and then you're just kind of like. You know, it, to me, I I was more smitten by it than anything. I, I felt really like, um, like I was like, damn, that's pretty sweet. Already influencing other. I just wish it, I wish it was. I wish somebody would say like from Apple or from the yeah, we did see your short. Yeah, we yeah. Did, you know, but so a little bit of recognition. A little bit of recognition. Yeah, yeah. But that's cool. Yeah. You know, it's it's just it's obviously it's there and it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. I mean, it always seems with this short, it's like it always seems to just pop up somewhere yeah. in some form. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm glad that it's still doing its thing. Yeah. This, this short still has wings. <laughs> it still has legs. It's yeah. still doing its thing. Yeah. 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 Thanks so much, man. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're here at the Block of Orange, or the Block of Orange. I'm not really 100% sure what it's called. Uh, but we're here to finish off the last shots of this month's episode of Low Rider Rule Models. Um, it's been a good two day shoot. We got to hang out with some crew that I really love and um, yeah it's just been a fun time just just being able to do this stuff so we're here in charge of all the gear uh, while they the rest of the crew goes in and films it um, but I'm gonna sign off here and this is uh, where I'm ending today's vlog uh, thanks so much for for watching I really do appreciate it if you're liking the videos there's, there's a little button right here you can subscribe to I appreciate you guys coming, visiting, and watching, um, and clicking on the ads and stuff like that. I know they're really annoying if you can stick it through them, but that really helps me out a lot, and I really do appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much, and we'll see you on the next one.